How can you use computational thinking to solve problems and produce better products? Remember the engineering design process. It's the process of taking ideas, identifying elements needed for the idea, and iterating through a process until an idea is executed. When we look at the engineering design process, let's start with identifying the problem. How do we identify the problem? Use computational thinking. Wait, isn't that programming? Computational thinking is a process to solve problems in a logical way. It has four components to the process. Decomposition, pattern recognition, abstraction, and algorithmic thinking. First, we need to use decomposition. What is decomposition? If we break down the word, decompose and shun, compose is to make or create, shun is a process, and down. So it's to break something down? It also can be considered deconstructing, like breaking down a robot or a puzzle. So I know to break the problem down in the pieces. What else do I need to know to identify the problem? Look for the process or algorithm that others may have used to solve the problem. Then look for patterns in the problem or how the problem is solved. Look for areas where the details of the problem may be hidden or abstracted, such as the maze in life. Do we only use computational thinking in identifying the problem? It can also help you in prototyping and testing to meet your design criteria. Improve your idea by using computational thinking to analyze your data. Improve the process or algorithm to improve the data. Look for patterns of the testing data. Look for areas where details of the problem are hidden or abstracted. Don't give up on a problem. Use computational thinking. Remember the four components, decomposition, pattern recognition, abstraction, and algorithmic thinking.